Hi boys and girls, I've missed you. This is Mrs. Rose and we're here to do art today. Blue, our friend, is here to watch you. And my llama friend, whose name is Petunia. She has rainbow horns and wings. And we're going to be making a collage made from wrapping paper. And we're going to relate it to Easter. So we're going to be making egg shapes or oval shapes and I'm going to show you how. Hopefully you have some wrapping paper of different colors around the house that you can use. You might want more than one color and here we go. What did you say Blue? Oh, he says he misses everybody and he wants me to get out my puppets first. So I'll show you my Easter puppets. In my basket I have an Easter bunny and an Easter duck and they want to say hi to you. Hi, I'm Easter Bunny and I'm really important, the most important for Easter because I hide all the eggs. Hi, I'm the Easter duck and I'm the most important for Easter because I Lay all the eggs. Oh, well, we can both be important. Well, okay. Ah, Those are my puppet friends. They came to visit you today to make your day a little more cheerful. Now, let's begin with our project. What you're going to do is take a piece of wrapping paper. Maybe you'll cut it into a, a square or just cut it a little smaller to start out and turn it over to the back side. Then you're going to take a crayon or a pen or a pencil and you're going to write on the back like this and make a couple of ovals. An oval is easy to make if you make a couple of dots. And we're going to make it the shape of an egg. Here's an egg shape and it looks kind of like a squish circle. It's not totally round. So we make a couple of dots and then we're going to make curves coming from the dots to the other dot. And then on the other side we'll do the same. Two curves. Now if yours is a little crooked, that's okay. You can just tell everybody you meant it that way. You can make different size ovals. Maybe you'll make one smaller. You might even be able to do it without dots. But if the dots help you, put them in first. And then make another oval. Cut them out with your scissors. And you need to hold your scissors correctly. So you want to put your scissors with your thumb in the little hole, your fingers in the big hole. Take your oval and cut it carefully on the line that you drew. It works well to try to cut off some of the extra paper as you go. We learned that in kindergarten. Cut off the extra paper so it's easier to go around your lines. Now I'm going to let my paper drop, but you should remember to ask your mom where the wastebasket is and throw that away. Okay? Then take your other oval, cut it out just the same way, cut off a little bit of the extra. Go around your line, hold your paper with the other hand, and just turn it as you cut. And let it drop. Make sure you put it in the trash later. And you have a couple of ovals that look like eggs. Now we're going to make our ovals into a collage. Now you can cut out lots more ovals. I did that already. I cut some from some different paper and I like this one because it has a little heart. And you can cut as many ovals as you want for your collage. 
and I'm going to show you how to arrange them into a collage because a collage is paper or things that overlap. Start with your glue stick. Mr. Glue likes to be rolled up just a little bit, not too much, otherwise he gets broken. Take one of your eggs, this is the one that I cut out of flower pattern, and glue it on. You can find a spot that you like, put the glue on, and stick on your egg. Make sure it's sticking good. Take another big one that you made. I kind of like to start with the big ones. And I'm going to overlap in a minute, but this one I'm going to put over on this side to sort of balance the bigness on my paper. So put another bit of glue and glue on your other oval. If it's not sticking, make sure it sticks. Take another one with a similar pattern as this one. So I'm going to put it over here to balance on each side. If it gets a little sticky sometimes. And see how I'm overlapping now? This one's over the other one, just like you would overlap your hands. I'm going to take that fun heart one that I made and put it in the middle because I like it a lot. And I'm going to overlap both of these. So put some glue in there. Sometimes you have to get a little glue on the other egg so that it can stick. And put it on. Now it's looking a little empty over here, so I might overlap another egg. This one comes from that same wrapping paper there, and I'm going to put that one down here. Maybe I'll put it like, like that. That would be good. You want your whole picture to have balance. And as you can see, my picture has balance and patterns, which are two principles of art. And it has overlapping to make it a collage. I also have some littler circles. This one I cut out of the flowers. I'll put that little one right there. So you don't have to have all big ones. They can be medium sized, small, different sizes. And you can try to make a balance of sizes and colors. And you can try where you like it to be. B so that it looks good in your design. Maybe right there. Sometimes it's hard to decide where you think it will look good. Now I'm going to balance that out with some little designs later. Close up your glue, put your cover on so it doesn't dry out. Then go on and add a little poem. And I'm going to write a poem about eggs with three words. You can write a three-word poem very easily about any subject by getting two describing words that start with the same letter. That gives your poem what's called alliteration. And I'm going to write this word because I think my eggs are pretty. That spells pretty. And I'm going to write this word because it starts with a P also. Pre. She. Us. Precious. Pretty. Precious. And these are eggs. So now I write my word eggs. A little squishy there. And I'm going to add a few little fun lines to give my design a little bit of more balance and character. Just some little swirls here and there to make it look fun. You could even put in a flower on the other side to match the flower on that side or a heart to match the heart. 
try to go with what's in your patterns if you add little details. Now I'm done with my picture. I think my bunny wants to say goodbye. I hope you'll join me next time. Bye kids. Have a great week and enjoy doing art.